Hello everyone, in this video we are going to explore one more service of AWS called as Amazon Cognito. Amazon Cognito offers user pools and identity pools. What it does, uh, it provides user pools with which we can maintain or have serverless database of users or serverless user directory that provides sign up and sign in options for our application users. Now, if now we have the or we can maintain or we can have a user inform or user database but uh, what if you want to provide access to uh, a lot of users say about 5000 or 50000 users to our aws service so we cannot create im role uh, for uh, these many users so in that case we can create a user identity pools so user identity pools provide uh, AWS credential which to the users which with, with which uh, the users can access the AWS services. How we do that and how we create such apps, let's dive into that section. So first I'll create a user pool or I'll say the serverless user directory. So I'll click uh, on this icon or sorry, uh, link to create a demo app. So I'll demo pool app i have two options first is review default and second is step through settings so i'll click on step through settings because i would like to show or uh, to uh, any you know each option to you guys so after clicking on that button i'm on this page where it is asking me to configure attributes to of my uh, user pool app then i'll uh, it is asking me what what uh, username uh, how i want uh, for my sign up and sign in process so i'll i'll uh, username i'll use username i do not want email address and phone number for this demo then other information has to uh, keep the uh, uh, enable the case sensitivity for user input i'll keep it as default and then this section is asking me to set the required attribute I want for my application for for sign up process so I'll keep it as email do I want uh, uh, additional custom attributes I do not but there is a way we can add so this is that way uh, by clicking on this uh, link I'll click on next so on this page I have to set uh, my or configure my password related information like how long my password should be so I'll you know uncheck all this option because I want to keep uh, this demo as simple as possible so this i'll keep everything as i mean and disable all the security measures then do i want my uh, users to sign up themselves i'll say it allow users to sign up themselves yes the third option is to you know um tell how if the administrator reset the password then how long the temporary password is going to la last so this is the number of days that retention period then on do you want to enable multi-factor authentication i do not want to for my app how will a user be able to recover this account i want uh, email address the default one um, method and uh, which attributes do you want to verify so i'll say uh, do not do any verification for this demo but there is a way uh, which we can do like with email phone number and email or phone number then the third option is to provide a uh, if we have a requirement where we have we're sending sms messages messages from our amazon cognito app then we can we must create a role but on this demo uh, we are not doing so so i'll click on next step on this page we have to set up the email address we want if we are sending or if we intend to send email address sorry messages from our email address other than the default one provided i mean uh, other than the default one provided by the Cognito, uh, I'm uh, sorry, AWS Cognito, then we can must set it from here. Uh, then clicking on next step. Here we can add uh, tags, but uh, on this step we have to provide, or if we intend to uh, maintain or manage user device information uh, in our for our application user pool app or users for then we must use this page i'll go with the no option as i do not want the uh, to remember my user's device uh, then i'll click on next step 
do i want app clients will have uh, for my application sorry for my user pool for now no i'll add this later after explaining the rest of the option so on this page i can i have a lot of hooks available so what i can do i can attach lambda functions to these hooks so if i have a requirement where i have to do some uh, logic or implement some logic at my uh, where uh, the user successfully authenticate uh, itself then i can use attach lambda function and do the processing so we have a lot of hooks available click on next step then uh, on this step we have to review all the attributes and settings we have uh like we have made for my user pool app then clicking on this we have successfully created our user pool demo app now the option which i left was uh, this app client so till now we have created an application but what if or how uh, uh, we are going to integrate it with our applications uh web application or mobile application whatever then we have to create or provide some credentials so through this settings we can create those credentials so i'll create add client i'll create as um demo web app client so i'll keep everything as default and create app client so uh, by this i get uh, app client id and i can use this app client id to in integrate my demo pool with applications then i'm clicking on this app client settings i can uh, i have to set i mean use which app client am i going to use and select select all so use this app client to log in uh, to my uh, uh, or create users into my cognitive user pool then i have here i have to provide sign in and sign out urls for an yeah, uh, for for once this user is successfully sign in and sign out through the user pool sign in page then where it is going to be redirected to so here we can provide the you redirect to url so we can set it to check for redirect dot com i'll say https there is no such url <laughs> this is just for demo i i've just created it then we have to set these options sorry this is going to be, i mean explaining this option is going to be a bit uh, uh, a deep then i'm so i'm not uh, skipping this for this demo i'll save this option here we can create a hosted uh, or say hosted ui so we have not as in uh, the page where the application is going to be on so we have to create that sorry i create clicked on wrong url so we have to create a hosted ui so so for that we have to create a demo so i'll go as uh, check for demo uh, demo domain name name check availability ah the domain is available and then save it if we have a custom domain for sign in sign on page sign on page then we can configure it from this page but i don't for this demo so i'll go to the customize settings so on this in app integration so whatever we are doing now is under this umbrella app integration so on this page which is ui customization we can customize the page of sign in uh, sign uh, or login page so here i can provide if i have any logo image then i can uh, do or change the logo color or maximum width maximum height so we can do a lot of changes css changes majorly from this page remember one thing we cannot do uh, uh, J javascript changes from this or we do not have any way to do the javascript changes from this console so all is done let's go to the app client settings now we have created a domain name now we just have to launch our hosted ui and we have launched our hosted ui so the domain if you guys remember we have created check for domain name we, so the, our sign up page is now accessible on this page i'll go on create abc dot check 
gmail dot com and and I'll give anything as password. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm using this sign in method. I have not created any user, so I have to create on sign up. A K. So uh, let's give abc at gmail dot com. abc at gmail dot com password anything. Uh, and I have created. Okay. Got one error. Let's go on to this page. ABC ABC admin one two three. So I'll click on this. Okay. But I'll check on what went wrong from the CloudWatch log. <laughs> but uh, here we can see that uh, two users are registered here with this info. I mean, have signed registered here, and then we can, you know, enable, disable, do a lot of things. So we are this way maintaining or having a serverless database of users. Uh, okay. Oh, understood. So what I was doing, I was basically my redirecting my users to this page. So let's. Uh, so if I would have a legit URL, then my page would uh, the use user information would be redirected to this page. Since I do not have a legit URL, uh, a callback URL, that is why I'm getting this uh, email uh, error. You guys can use the legit URL, and then you guys would not get this error. So that's how we do or uh, maintain user pool. Uh, through AWS Cognitive.